Tim's gonna, you know, make it real dirty in here. There's one more pest. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep it clean. You keep it clean. Well, you're gonna get it dirty it and show you how to keep your house clean. There's one more set of summer, fall, winter, spring pests. It's the people coming in and out of your house with dirt on their feet. <laughs> sure, and this is the way hand. to stop that dirt at the door. And, and that's what a mat should do. Beautifully. I'm gonna sneak by here. We. This is the same great mats that we've yeah. had for years and years that people absolutely love. But here's the deal. This has this beautiful rubber scroll design on the outside with this interchangeable disc on the inside. It starts with this one where it's the pineapple, which is the international symbol for uh, hospitality. That's beautiful. And you're able to switch out during the different seasons. Fall rolls around, you put this pumpkin in there. You put in your Christmas tree there for your holiday times. But here's the deal. Any mat can be pretty. Not every mat can do what this one does. Most mats, if you're lucky, will wipe off a shoe and get it this clean. Right? A little on the edge there. But our mats, which you didn't see, already had... You can't even see that in four there. Four pounds of dirt, dust, grime, and stuff. Oh my Here's gosh. the deal. These mats pull the dirt down away from the surface so that it can't be tracked in either by your shoe or the shoe and the barefoot and the dog's paw after it. And what's that doing? It's cutting down on the amount of sweeping, dusting, mopping, and all the vacuuming you have to do. And oh, yeah. not only is it cutting down on the amount of chores you have to do, but it's actually saving your floors. When this stuff gets in, it's acting like sandpaper on your hardwood floors. It's acting like little scissors in your carpet fibers, and it's scratching the grout in your tile. So you want to keep this stuff out as much as you can. 80% of the dirt, dust, and grime that gets into your house comes across the threshold. Oh, I believe it. And we all have mats in front of our house, but they probably aren't doing a very good job. Can your mat hold four pounds worth of sand and dirt? Really unbelievable. And it cleans in a snap. I love that we've added the new with the pineapple and then the pumpkin for the fall and then the Christmas tree. So they're an elegant mat and they have this non-stick rubber around. So it makes them a lot more elegant than our other, than our other mats. Let's well, see. Now you have flats on there as they yeah. call them. I, I have women in my life. I've learned about uh, shoes. Uh -huh. Even those without treads can track in dirt on a mat like this. This is the, these, I'm gonna show you the three mats that we've all had over the years. These three came from my house, which is lovely. Um, look at this. Th that may wipe it off of your foot, but even the clean foot or clean shoe or clean animal paw behind it is gonna grab that and pull uh -huh. it in. Look at that. Look at that, I just stuck to it, and now look at that coming off. Now here's another one with this scroll design and the cocoa fibers, a little prettier, a little more expensive, but just a tablespoon that's not even, that's a teaspoon. That's a camp spot for the dirt that's getting in your house. That's not keeping the dirt out. This one that I have destroyed over the years from my house shouldn't say welcome to our home, it should say welcome to our dirty home. Because no matter how much I try to rub that in, that's just stuck right there and that's getting tracked in by the house. And those ones are expensive those, too. That one was about uh, twice twice what these are yeah, right here. Yeah, now, these ones are about out. a $20 bill. This is, okay, I wanna show you this because as well, this is it's kind like of funny. It's disappearing. It's disappearing, but you know what else is getting caught in this? Pet hair and grass and leaves and things, these one yeah. inch fibers just reach up and grab things and keep them from getting tracked and in. And they are kind of curved like that, specifically to grab right off of your shoe or off, your, off the paw. Right. So this, these are attractive, which is what we've wanted all these years, mm -hmm. but they're doing a job. They're keeping that dirt out. This, these fibers, we call them active cleaning fibers, are curved in a certain way to get up into the fibers of your shoes, deep into the treads of work boots and running shoes. And oh, you're getting more. And, and oh, I'm getting more. I'm not done yet. Are you kidding? <laughs> this takes I'm having so a blast. Much. I love. Uh, now, I'm going to overfill it a little bit. But check this out. Here, here's the point. Let's get another one of these galoshes because they have huge treads on them. And these one inch fibers really get up in here. And as much as we did that, let's wipe the toe. It's I can still step on up. this. It's not re it's not getting on the shoe again, but it is keeping it from getting tracked in and cutting down on the sweeping, mopping, and dusting and vacuuming you have to do. That's the beauty of these mats. Wow. So whether it's the summer and it's sand or wet grass or something that y your kids, your grandkids, your pets are, tra are tracking in, or it's winter and it's icy, slushy snow and grime that you're, car you're you know, tracking in on your big mud boots, or you're in the garden and you've got mud from the garden. See, Shannon, I love this, this uh, I call it the shoe cartoon. 
<laughs> you see how those are curved and you see how the dirt's right. at the bottom. Yeah. Those are specifically designed through testing and testing to get up inside the shoes and boot treads to pull it. It curves to act like a little scrub brush for your feet and it pulls it down away from the surface so the next foot can't trap it in. Not only can yours not trap it in, but we forget about that, that it's actually every clean foot after that, that once you've wiped off your dirty feet, somebody with clean feet coming along behind just steps on the mat without wiping and they bring it in. Yeah, good These point. are meant to do that to the only way these won't work is if you physically step over them. And when <laughs> I catch somebody doing that, you're going back out. Go wipe your feet again. Yeah. Get out yeah. of my house. <laughs> But they really are, I mean, they're so durable as well. So these are going to last you from season to season to season, which is why we have the different inserts. So you can have the pineapple, the universal symbol of hospitality. You can have the pumpkin, which for is fall for fall, season, the just... entire fall. I yeah, love that. you get a few months fun with that. Yep. And then, and then the holiday season holiday rolls season. around. I've still got Christmas lights up, so you can leave that until June. Why well, not? so many of us have that we, we have to use extra mats. And those are the times when you don't want just just a Christmas mat. You know, you don't want just a holiday mat because it's snowing outside. That's when you really need a heavy duty mat. But now you don't have to switch it out because all you switch out is the little centerpiece. And do you know when I find my holiday mats, my Christmas mats, my Thanksgiving? I find the uh, Thanksgiving. January. I find the Thanksgiving <laughs> stuff in the Christmas box every year like clockwork. <laughs> and I find that when I'm putting stuff away, I go, oh, there's my Christmas mat. Well, and then it's a mat too, right? Like it's got mud and grime and you don't oh, want to yeah. put it away with all of your ornaments and everything. Don't worry about it this way you're going to keep this mat around out year round. I like the ornate scroll too. We Isn't haven't that had pretty? that before. That's a heavy duty recycled rubber. So you're using recycled materials, but it's going to be heavy duty to keep it in place. Yeah. That's what you really want a mat to do as well. Let's clean a work boot. Let's get on down to business yes. here. Clean a work boot. All right. So check this out again. Just a couple quick swipes. That one's got sand all over my mat here. I'll hold that still. Oh, some on the toe. And what you didn't see was Again, the four pounds of dirt. Wow. What you're gonna get with one of these mats, less cleaning, mopping, dusting, sweeping, less of the stuff you don't like to do, don't wanna do, and less damage on your floors. Listen to this. That's like sandpaper. That's like well, sandpaper. Sand you know, is in sandpaper. It, that's me. Imagine if this got into your house, and it doesn't have to be just in a beach area. There is sand in about 80% of the country. Most dirt is made of some kind of sand or small rocks. So that's what you're getting. You're getting that abrasive surface, mm. that coarse sandpaper on your hardwood floors, on the grout in your tile. And if you've ever vacuumed, and I'm sure you have, <laughs> Uh, oh, that was a little uh, skeptical of you. That was if you've ever done <laughs> If housework. I ever have. Uh -huh. But you open the vacuum up and you see all those fibers in there? Right. That's the little chopping action that's getting the, the, the back and forth of feet on there. The but if there's anything down inside there that's acting, it's acting like little scissors to ruin your carpet fibers and wear down that carpet. So you're saving that expensive carpet. Wow. So that's when we talk about high traffic areas. It's really this that's getting into whether it's the wood or the, or the you know, if you've got any kind of tile even, that can really get damaged by that because it's it's rubbing like sandpaper if you rub sandpaper on anything in your house you know any of your floors but I'm all about the not having to clean as much I, oh, when I'm you all have these we that. hear from all of we have from so many of our customers I don't have to vacuum as much my dog isn't you know tracking in all the leaves and the dirt and the grime and I don't have to you know I don't have to clean as much anything that keeps anything you from having that, to clean oh. I'm all about it and you know what else I love of the many many reviews you won't see them on this one because it just changed product numbers but the clean machine mats people have loved for years and years and years, gone online, hundreds, if not thousands of people, gone on hsn.com to rave about their doormat. And yeah. one of the things that they've said every year, I don't mean to talk no, to it like it's, it's a true. doormat, yeah. but that's yeah. just so awesome. And I love that. And they say, you know what? It's easy to clean. It stands the test of time. It still looks beautiful. It's holding up. It's been years and years. Mm. That's what you want from any product, but especially something that you don't want to have to go out and shop for again. This isn't the fun shopping trip either. Hey, honey, let's go over to and shop for a new doormat this yeah. weekend. Yeah, but you, you know, know what? what? This, it's going to be good for everyone's going to like the style. Check this out. Well. Let's do this one more time real quick. Yeah. This, is, this is the mats. These are the mats we've all had over the years. Let's put a little mm -hmm. more right there. These are the ones. Check this out. These mats do nothing. If you've got these, go toss it. They, they, they don't stop the dirt at the door. They don't even scrape it off your feet properly. They look nice. Just saving the dirt you for the next what? person that walks in. This is what the, actually this mat looks like when it tries to do what our mat did. Oh, I just dumped out my, my deal here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's what would be all <laughs> over your mat. 
after a couple swipes. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, be sure that you get yours. I would say get two. Get however many doors you have that enter into your house. Get that many. Because for $20, unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah.